you to it, your boy King Saints, and I'm back. Before we get to it, make sure you like, go and subscribe, make sure you always watch the full video. So Vlad TV released more clips from his interview with DDG, and the incident with DDG, DM, and Ruby Rose was mentioned. Yeah, but we was like going through a really, really, really rough patch, and it was kind of yeah. So I was just like, you know, being you know, petty, you know, type shit. But I had no intention. Like I did it in front of her. I had no intentions of actually linking with Ruby, you know. Oh, you did it in front of her? Oh, you bold. <laughs> you big bold for that one, my boy. Because, boy, I would never. I would never. My, He said, I did it in front of her, bruh. Yeah. Her friends finna go. Her friends finna go up on, it, on, on this one. On you, bruh. They finna get on your head, bruh. Like, if I was you, especially now that, you know, the... The hate or whatever has eased up. I would have said, let's scratch this question right here, bro. Like, <laughs> I understand certain people probably want to know, but I would have said, no, nah, I'm not answering that question. Like, we're on good terms. The hate eased up. If I answer this, even though it's in the past, the fans are going to go back up. And Yeah, I wouldn't answer this question because that's crazy. He said, I did it in front of her. And then, then his face spread. Yeah, bro. I, I wouldn't answer this, bro. You know, being you know, petty, you know, type shit. But I had no intention. Like, I did it in front of her. I had no intentions of actually linking with Ruby, you know? Yeah. She's seen it. Like, imagine you arguing with your girl or whatever, right? Yeah. And, you know, you get mad at her for something that, you know, you know you, you're mad, right? You're like, all right, I'm... Since you, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna do this. Watch this type shit. You know what I mean? Oh, so you actually showed her. Yeah, oh, like, like, like I feel like people thought that I was like sneakingly like, oh, what you doing type shit. And that's uh -huh. when she posted. I, I know what type of girl she is. I knew she was going to, like, I wouldn't even mm. do that. That's just not like somebody that can, you know. Yeah. I mean, I've interviewed Ruby before. See, you gotta, you gotta stay away from doing something like that. I did something like this, though. I I didn't do it in front of the girl, but I did DM somebody because I was mad at my girl. Again, had no had no real intentions of linking up with somebody, but I did it. And I told my, and like, when me and my girl got, like, you know, on our good back terms, or on our good back terms, back on good terms, I did tell her, like, yeah, I DM this girl, but ain't nothing happening. Yeah, she, she cool. She cool. I just, you know, I feel like the, the whole situation was definitely taken out of context. That's why I'm glad you, like, actually read the lyric and understood. Because I didn't try to tell people over and over, like, bro, it's not like that. Like, I yeah. did it in front of her. Like, I never I mean, doing it in front like of her, though. Yeah, I feel like doing it in front of her is better than trying to sneak. Were you just trying to piss her off? Like, yes, she... that's it. Like, just literally just trying <laughs> Was she to piss pissed her off when you did that? Yeah. But she, <laughs> pissed, but she pissed me off, too, you know? It, but... But during the whole situation of people like... I'm going to DM Usher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just like that. Some it's shit that like type, that? Yeah, some shit like that. Someone said, texting your ex mid-argument with your girl is insane. I'm yeah. so nosy. I wonder what Hallie did to make him want to text her. I don't know. I could easily argue and not try to run back to my ex to prove a point. Y'all leave your comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes... The real, I, not to defend what he did. Hey, like, like I said, I, I said he did the same dumb thing too, but... I think it's like, if I DM a new girl, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna make you mad as I'm DMing my ex. That's why he was like, you, you made me mad about whatever he was mad about. So therefore, in the midst of an argument, the only person that you can DM that can make her just as mad is an ex. A new girl, who is, who is, who is she? Like, don't like care, don't like care about the new girl, the ex. You talk to your ex? Now hold up, bruh. Like that, that hits a little different. It hit a little different right there. That, that, that's gonna make you, like, you do DM a new girl, you might, you, the, the level of mad might be a six. You DM the ex? Now we got a 10. What you talking about? <laughs> 
that after hearing the real Holly that late night while DDG was on Twitch and she didn't know and she was talking hella crap in the background. Yo, y'all gotta hear that Holly. I can't find the footage, but Holly didn't sound like no Disney character. After hearing that Holly, I already know that played out way differently. He downplayed it because, you know, they together, so he doesn't want to like, you know what I mean? It just wasn't him texting in front of Holly and that was it. I've been mm. like, Holly was on go. He like, let's stop talking about it because I'm getting flashbacks because that girl just went crazy. But y'all leave that comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Now let's talk about Armand and Essie because they were spotted together with their daughter for her birthday at a water park. So people are now assuming that they're back together. In my opinion, and that's not what that means. It's just no. two parents that's being civil for their daughter's birthday. A lot of people keep saying that they're back together because they hear Armand on the phone with his daughter in the background or Essie might be visiting Armand at his apartment or now that Essie now lives in Houston, people are saying that she moved there because of Armand. That's just called healthy co-parenting. That don't mean that people are back together. I did the same thing with my child's father for a long time before yeah. we got significant others. Now we still do stuff together. Now just without... Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. I was about to say, like, he's single, so therefore, this is why this date or this moment is happening. If they, if he was had a girlfriend, I'm quite sure he got to respect his girlfriend, so therefore, he wouldn't have went. He, his, his kid would have had to, sadly, had to, had to have a, a separate birthday party with him. As he would have had hers, he would have had his, and it would have went like that. Even though, even though the fans or the supporters would have still said, oh, why y'all had two separate parties? Y'all could have just had it. <laughs> And if you get other that we trust, that's just a healthy working together for the greater good because the child didn't ask to be here. Y'all leave your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think when it comes to that. Now let's talk about CJ So Cool because he dropped a video addressing royalty Jalea and his mom. Word on the street is a kid, a female girl said to line up and she wants to fade and she's going to knock me out and I'm very terrified. But uh, I, I don't want nothing to do with that. Even though after today, I, I see it was just cap because when I dropped my kids off, she was there. She did have on the fighting clothes. I mean, I assume those was her fighting clothes unless that's just how she dressed now. But no words were said. No one rushed me. No one did anything. Kamari was there just, just in case. You know what I'm saying? Because I So this, this little girl called out you and your mama? That's crazy. Y'all need to put to her. Y'all need to put her in uh, boot camp or something, bro. I have 100% faith in my kid, and I know that my kid will not let me get drugged on the ground, sit back in the background and cry while recording me get beat on. That's just not gonna happen. I really don't. That's not the truth. It's not in me at all, because I didn't have a mom. And now, <laughs> speaking of my mom, I have a mom who's, I'm, I, have you ever not had the words to say? Because I don't right now. I don't want to say the wrong thing. I'm about to cry a little bit. But uh, yeah, I have a mom who, she steps in and out whenever she, you know, can, and it seems like she comes with drama. It just seems like that. I mean, I love the fact that I was born and she gave birth to me and she allowed me to breathe on this wonderful earth because she could have, you know, whatever, right? But she, she allowed me to experience life, whether she was there or not, whether she had trials and tribulations or not, whether she was in jail or on drugs, whatever she went through, she, she, you know, she, she didn't hold me back as far as I may seem to be held back, if that makes sense. Because she gave me a chance by letting me go. Let me go to foster care. Let them raise me. Then my grandma and them, like I said, they saved me, whatever. But my mama, she steps in and out and she just comes with this drama. And now I'm seeing she's arguing with the mama, which means that my children's grandmothers are fighting. And that's worse than the parents fighting because yeah. CJ so cool mom did respond back. Here's what she had to say. Just watch it. He said you drama. I'm drama. I'm drama. <laughs> Wow. Wow. So all the other stuff that's been going on, he don't see that. Yeah, he don't that see crazy, that. Though. He don't protect me. So I got to protect my damn self. You know what I mean? Why in the hell would you, would you? <laughs> yeah, that, that, um, that one's got a crazy on like, He put it all on her. Okay. Well, let me be drama then. He probably just putting it on, on you because, like, all right, you supposed to, you know, you supposed to be, even though he should be the adult, you're the adult dope. <laughs> the adult dope. <laughs> so, therefore, like, you got to somewhat be the bigger person in your position and then not be arguing on the internet. Because, like I said before, that looks kind of crazy. Two grandmas going at it back and forth. Y'all looking like JT and, um, and Glorilla right now, bro. Right? Like, calm down. Like, what? Let <laughs> Go me sit be down and take care right? of myself. Cause you sure won't do it, buddy. Oh, 
Oh my God. Oh my God. I have never heard him stand up for me. Ever since I've been on this YouTube. I have never, ever, not one time, heard him stand up for me. Not that I need him to, because I can stand up for myself, okay? But I, like I said, I never heard him do that. I've never he heard him tell them to leave me alone, ever. I never heard him tell them to stop the bullshit, ever. It looks like CJ has become his own chef because on Snapchat he has been cooking for himself. I'm glad he learned how to cook when Lexi was there. But he was a little shady. He said, I'm all I need now. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. And until next time, peace. Finally got that skillet ready. Hopefully it's not too ready. Oh. 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 Ain't burned, baby. I'm sorry. We're not about to watch that, though, because I am hungry, bro. Catch you in the next video.